you know, after this stunt that they pulled last year, at the very end of last year, remember when Sundays used to be like, that exciting feeling of, oh my gosh, The Walking Dead's coming on tonight. Especially when it's, there's been a hiatus and you're like, oh yes, The Walking Dead comes on tonight. That's not how this Sunday went. This Sunday feels like you've been on death row for years and now today is the day where you have your last meal before they walk you over to your chair to get electrocuted. I feel like... I am not emotionally, physically, mentally, or spiritually ready for this episode. I did not want this episode to come, but here it is. And I have no choice but to watch it. But you will be watching it with me. I'm not ready, but I have no choice, I guess. So let's start. Let's start, let's start, let's start, let's start. Okay, I'm ready. Huh, <sighs> I'm ready. Here we go. Previously on AMC's the We have to recap the hell that we already endured save last year. Like you saved me. Wait, I liked you, Ezekiel. Oh gosh, and a repeat of this scene that we've seen so many times. Uh, and poor us had no idea when they played this scene, like what, the first episode? We have no idea. So this is not like a flash forward, it's like his imagination, I think, that we've all come to agree. Like an imagination of what life could be. Oh my gosh. I can do it. <clears throat> I can do this. No, he didn't die yet. This is the moment. I hate that scene so much. They didn't even have to do this. They didn't even have to. They could have just kept going, but no. Carl wanted to respect that dude's little rituals that he does with the walkers. Oh my gosh, this makes me upset just re-watching this. Again, we had no idea, of it's course. I can only imagine what he's thinking like, yeah, this is gonna be the end of me. Like how strong is Carl that like, he's hiding all of this? Like he, he's going to pretend like everything's okay. Not back soon, we'll meet him there. Man, Hopefully be I could only imagine. What about Michelle? The caverns of tomorrow with just what is it supposed to be like a happy tune, you know, to set the mood for us to be bawling in a fetal position in a corner in a couple minutes? Is that they're just trying to warm us up? Oh my gosh! Oh, I really hope Judith, like, when she gets older, she can, like, remember a little bit of this. She probably. Well, taking the picture, this hurts. I can't even form like the sentence I want to form. Carl's so strong, putting everyone before him, knowing that he's going to die. I went from hating him, oh my gosh, I went from hating him to now I'm about to cry very soon, I feel, for his de demise. It's like the character glow up. The development is amazing with this one. That sun, that skin. One last time. Oh, I'm gonna make myself sad. I'm gonna be quiet. I honestly cannot believe. This. See this face right now? This is a face of calm 
and well not calm, I'm a little anxious, a lot anxious. This is the face of someone anxious but trying to keep it together, okay? Memorize this face because this face is not gonna stay like this in a few like, this face is not gonna stay like this period. Like, just give me about 10, 15 more minutes. 10, 15 more minutes, maybe 20. Stuff on my wire, I got it. Yo, that's nasty. Cottage is just ahead. And what's out crazy. of the tree line? It's got a wrought iron fence. There's food and water inside. You versus all of them? Yeah. They don't stand a chance. No, Cottage they group. do not. You don't know Carol's name. You're about to. No, you're not. They killed my brother. And I'm not going to let him kill you. I can do it. I can help you. What's up with these little kids? They don't understand the word no. You taught me the gun. When you Fine. say stay, they want to leave anyway. What is up with this? Why don't they understand the word stay put? Why do they always want to go against the grain and want to show how big and bad they are? Huh, here we go. Here we go. I got bit. Give someone back. I got bit. Stop saying it. Nigga's gonna kill you now. My boy Eric. Ooh, Eric. Who the heck? I mean, he's Ezekiel. You. Shit's getting shittier, and you're gonna die. No, I made a not. choice I could live with. Now it's your turn to do the same. I just feel like this episode is not going to be a lot of words. It's going to be mostly facial expressions and like outbursts. Like that's where I feel like this reaction is going to be. Amy. He's here too. Where? Did you see him? Did it happen? Yeah, so this this boy is either going to get himself I killed or others. Place. Oh my gosh, that was all just a denial. Is that why you brought him back? He wasn't gonna make it alone. Oh my gosh, he's looking worse and worse by the seconds. Make it stop! Well, she's snapping. She is about to kill an army single-handedly by herself. Oh my gosh, Michonne already lost a baby. He's now she's about to lose Carl. You said that Hilltop safe? We need to get everybody there. No. Stay where you are. And they think all of you got away in the woods. But they're out there looking. All of you. In one place together. All of us. Together. We'll be their worst damn nightmare. Even though they're not the reason why Carl got bit, but Carl got bit, no one's playing games. Nobody is playing games. Um, excuse me. Pow! I'll just keep moving. Just keep moving. Look at my stealthy ninjas. Oh my. No. They could have found him. Oh gosh. Yes. Don't worry about them. Let's go. Let's keep it moving. Come on, boys. Get the damn gum off your shoes. Let's go. Is this going to turn into something else? You are the author of this nightgown. Its clothes shall be fashioned by your star. I like that. Think about it, Gavin. Oh my! He looks scary! He's supposed to be resting. It's gotta stop, Michelle. Oh my gosh, they were my favorite. Their relationship was so it's cute. It's supposed to be like this. I know it can be better. 
we got some weapons, some stuff that we could use, maybe. You cannot take all three of them. I stand corrected, I forgot who Morgan is. Morgan is going on a rampage. He is kicking butt and not even caring to take names. It's gonna be his last ride, just at least try to make him comfortable. I love him so much. Mm. It always has to get dark and ugly. It doesn't have to. You're human. You know I don't like this, right? It is you? not too late to walk back from something decided. Exactly, Gavin. You still have a chance. You did. Look where I got you. Gavin, think about it. Polly, where you at? I mean, nothing's final. Gomez. Uh-oh. Starting to settle in. Gomez. It is not too late to walk back from something decided. Take heed, boy. Shit. Carol and Morgan, they ain't playing. They are not playing. If I have to see this man's face close up like this one more time. I just hate these, break this cooker properly. We'll these be lousy with baked imaginations. Eggs, Eugene is somehow forgiven and backing in the circle. Consider to be deaf. If Eugene's Tell even going delicious has your name on it. Able to come back. I just hate these just knowing that Carl's not in them. No parent should have to bury their child. He can't leave here. I have to stay with him, Rick. He can't. We'll both stay. Will you take Judas? She needs to be there. Oh. <laughs> Happens. I'll take her. We'll get her there. We'll keep her safe. Yes. Yes, dear Will. This. I do not believe this is happening. Like, I really do not believe. And months have passed, and I still don't believe this is happening. You should be good, okay? If she, like, Take physically time. responds, I'm gonna die. Like, I'm, I'm actually gonna die. You gotta honor him. You didn't give her the hat. was dad is before it was mine. No, it's serious. I don't know. I'm just, <laughs> oh my gosh. Just having it then. It always kept dad with me. It made me feel as strong as him. Before mom died, she told me that I was going to beat this world. I didn't. Oh my gosh. But you will. <laughs> I know you will. <laughs> oh my gosh. Girl, I feel you. I feel you. Why do you have to say that? These people. You saved them all. That's all you, man. Oh. I hate this show. This show... This show really does try my very, very last nerve. Too. You brought me here. You gave me a chance. I know I can never repay you. Just be an upstanding citizen of our community, dude. A showing you.
Carl did not deserve this. So okay. many people in this show There's deserve similar deaths, but Carl is Coming not one us. of them. Controlled access. Force projected on the doors. Now! Shut How up about that, okay? Dare you. This is it. It is too late. I'm the author, you're the dead man, and that's how it's gonna be. I live, you die. This is what this is. The petty compromises I made to avoid conflict. Now I realize I was saving yours. Mm. No more. Mm. Happy birthday, Gavin. This is just for you. If it was like Henry or something like that, I would flip. This reminds me of like uh, the church scene with Garrett all over again. Morgan grabbed that stick and put it right up that dude's throat. Grab it. Ooh. Ripped out that guy's intestines. For Jesus. How did you guys let a limping man get away? How? All of them are dead. Uh uh. Morgan has been saying this from the beginning. They're all going to go. And Jesus slash Paul is not here to say we need to spare their lives. <sighs> Rick and Carl have been through so much. This boy got shot with a bullet that went through a deer. Then he got his eye shot out. Then he almost had his arm chopped off. You should be sad after this. <sighs> or angry. There goes the old man call theory. For yourself. Don't carry this. Not this part. My best friend, Michelle. Oh my gosh. Getting them out of here. Oh. The devil works hard, but the walking dead is working harder. Oh my gosh. My boy Morgan is making this like a horror story. Like when you know the bad guy's coming, cause like the slow steps and the shadows. Gavin, you had a chance. You blew it. This death is on your own hands. Oh. <laughs> Oh, okay, this back and forth is not gonna work for me. I can't go crying and then like excited the next moment and then back to crying. I can't do that. That's just too much of a mood swing for me. Back at the prison, when we got attacked, there was a kid, a little older than me. I just shot him. Oh, we're talking about that one, Hirsch with, uh, not Hirsch, well, was it Hirsch? About him. No, Dale? No, Dale was dead by then. What I did to him in the hell. Yeah, well, I think, him. wasn't this when he was in the forest? There wasn't a lot of the men, you 
Got ran a good crew. I kept my word. You asked Ezekiel, I kept my word. I'm not Ezekiel. Mm, this is gonna be beautiful. This is gonna be beautiful. You think you can beat me? You can't. Well, we can. And we will. We can go. You just killed all those men because of the kid? His name is Ben. You better put some respect on boy. his name. You'll still wake up to the same shit tomorrow. And you're not waking up at all. What happened so to killing him? Changed. You brought the men and we all lived together. We were enemies. You put away your gun. You did it. Oh my gosh, here comes a narrative that I so do I not want to hear. So. We know exactly where this is going. What you did that. Now you. Now you stopped fighting. They did all of this! The walking dead did all of this. Killed Carl. So he so can nice. spew the rhetoric of saving Negan. Not saving him, but not killing him! Not again. Oh you my gosh, they killed Carl for Negan. I hate this story. They could have done this to someone else. It could have been Morgan. Morgan. Or Jesus, the way he was going with All Lives Matter, but they did Morgan. it with Carl. So now we Carl's last count. words on his deathbed is gonna be, don't kill anymore. One. We don't have to kill him. I'm gonna turn Gavin into a prisoner of war. I can't be. Such a horrible transition from the comics to the show. Now. You can't kill all of them, Dad. There's gotta be something after. I hate, I don't wanna hear this. I really don't wanna hear this. It's gonna make me upset all over again. It's for them. You don't have to. You told me we can be better than them. You said that to me. Oh my gosh, it's back and forth. We're constantly doing the kill them, don't kill them, kill them, don't kill them. We have to kill them all. Let's not kill them all. It's how many times are we gonna go through this storyline? Like, is this the only storyline walking in knows how to do? Oh my gosh, that was. Henry? I mean, I can't even be mad. They killed his brother. So, I'll give that to him. No. I'll allow him to take that kill shot. You can't see it yet. How it could be? Yeah, and this is where the, the thoughts of how things could be comes from. Bigger. This is Alex Carl's world house. of better. This new houses. You know who would have been great in this world? You can still be. Glenn and Abraham and Sasha. Oh my gosh, Glenn and Maggie raising their child in this new world. Don't even get me started on Glenn and Maggie. I can't even cry. I'm just so angry right now. The same anger I had a couple months back is like coming, boiling back into my body. I had to. We know you did. You're supposed to stay at the cottage. This wasn't what you were supposed to do. This wasn't for you. Carol. Carol is done with kids running off. She is done with it. One more child that runs off past her command, she is going to lose it. I'm sorry. I couldn't protect you. Oh, I don't make feels like a failure. Now this job is to protect his son. No. No. Oh, I totally <laughs> forgot we have to do this. It should be. I know. It's somebody you love. Oh my gosh, remember when- You can't do it yourself. Remember when Carl told Michonne that he would do it for her? I still can't. 
I have to do this. Me. I remember when people were theorizing like who would be the one to put Carl down and people said that Carl would do it himself. So they were like Michonne and Rick wouldn't have to do it for him. This boy's over 9,000 levels of strong. Like the strength that he has right now is remarkable. Even though he says that he wants like them to be better and to have a better world, I still would kill Negan. Like just because he's old new, so kill him. There's no way. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. Like you can envision a perfect world all you want, but having like a, a murderer within that perfect world, not realistic. I'm sorry. I wouldn't do it. I'm sorry. Like, people could change, but not this dude. Not Negan. Uh-uh. Oh, and that's it? And that's it. Yeah, they're gonna end it just like that. They're gonna end it just like that. So, Rick is envisioning Carl's version of a new world. And within that new world, he has Eugene, who betrayed them, even though some of us had like, what if he do like this double agent thing, but then as episodes continued, we kind of figured that maybe he really thinks he is Negan. So in this new world, you have Eugene in it and Negan as one of the citizens. No, we don't want Negan in this new world. He has to go. In the comics, I know they save Negan, but in the comics, Negan also escapes and it's still up to his Neganism that he does. This show, Negan needs to go. And let's continue on to the next bad guy who would most likely be the Whisperer's in Alpha. But Negan in this new world, don't accept. Uh, decline, rejected, veto, whatever the word is to stop it from happening. No, I don't know. A world without Carl, but Negan's and I don't know, man. This, with The Walking Dead story-wise, I don't even know what's going on story-wise. And then, spoiler alert for you guys that don't know, happening in the background and the behind the scenes of The Walking Dead, um, we might be losing Lauren because of this stupid thing that AMC is doing because we know AMC is super cheap and has a history of not wanting to pay their people. So Lauren feels like Maggie is a super, super important character, which she is. She has went from Maggie being inside the group to Maggie being one of the top three leaders of communities combined, okay? And even Rick said in the beginning of this season that after the war is done, he's gonna be following Maggie's lead. So it's obvious that Maggie's importance of as a character has grown over the seasons and she wanted to negotiate her contract to rise her salary up compared to where it's been and AMC was like no they were not feeling it and the negotiations that, her, that she and her agent and AMC was doing was not working to the point that her representatives were like listen we have shows lined up in front of us that are willing to pay Lauren what she's asking for, what she's worth. And if you guys don't step up to the plate, we're gonna have to, you know, take those offers. And as someone who's been watching the story unfold, I was just hoping that we cannot lose Maggie. We literally could not lose Maggie. So I was hoping that maybe AMC will, you know, tuck in their balls and their pride, put it away, and pay the girl what she's worth, okay? 
But no, news broke, what, I think last week or maybe earlier this week that she signed uh, to do a pilot with a new show. Now, we all know that not every single pilot takes off, but um, as far as we know, the pilot that she's going for is not going to interfere with The Walking Dead, but we definitely should expect basically what Denai did this season, how she was MIA for so long because she was doing Black Panther. But um, I don't know what's going on. She might just be pushed to the background. She might get killed off. Who knows what's going to happen now that uh, they're basically kicking her to the side when, in terms of her consciousness, not seeing eye to eye. So we're losing great people. We lost Carl. We're losing Morgan because he's jumping on fear and there's a possibility that we could be losing Maggie as well, which personally, The Walking Dead has been going downhill for a good minute now. And um, losing Maggie, she's one of my top three favorite characters. That's, she's an OG and to lose her, it's like, why am I even watching? Like, I'll just be watching for Rashawn, to be honest, and just like the little side characters like Rosita and stuff like that. But to lose Maggie, that would mean Glenn died for nothing. Like, literally died for nothing. Because in the comics, Glenn dies and Maggie thrives in her leadership role. And here, it would be like Glenn died and then Maggie was leading for this much and then either died or was pushed to the back burner to the point that fans don't even know. Like, oh wow, Maggie showed up. It would be like a almost a celebration when Maggie shows up. I don't know. What are you guys thinking? Because I, my thoughts could be all over the place right now, but I don't know, do, like, do you guys feel the same? Do you feel that if Maggie, okay, if Maggie was to leave, whether she died or was just pushed to the way back like a secondary character would that bother you guys at all would you guys stay would you guys leave like there's just so much going on this episode i really thought it was gonna be a blubber fest like i was for uh 616 for the lineup before they did that awful cliffhanger i was a blubbering mess and even in the next episode in 7-1 blubbering mess i thought it was gonna be a blubbering mess as well in this episode but it just made me upset just remembering why they're killing off carl and then seeing negan inside the 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 the, the idea of a new world I don't like it. You guys might like it. Who knows? Do you like it? Do you like the idea of Negan not being killed and given the opportunity to reform himself? I don't know. I don't like it. He had an opportunity to do that, but we see as Negan how he is. Sometimes he just does what he does because he wants to do it. He feels like he has to put people in line. He chose his dictatorship the way he leads. He chose that. I have no idea what to even expect for the next episode. I just wish that they would wrap up this whole Negan versus Rick thing. It's been so, it feels like we've been doing like this for years, which we kind of have, but I really wish we would wrap this storyline up now. But that is the premiere, the mid-season premiere of The Walking Dead. And it is now 12.07. I'm going to sleep and then just try not to remember that I had to sit this episode. It's been real. Thank you for watching.